Hello friends, welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology. And in this video, I'll be asked, answering one of the very important question that you have in your mind if you're a CSR aspirant and that is, should we prepare group A or should we leave group A? I've been asking this question for a long time uh, to all my students and most of the time I get the answer that most of the students, they go with not preparing group A. And in my opinion, that is not a good idea because you know, while you're preparing the CSI net exam, preparing for the exam and group A is common in any subject that you are in, whether it's life sciences, earth sciences, chemical sciences, physical sciences, group A is common part of any subject CSI net exam. And for my opinion, you should prepare group A. Why you should prepare group A, I'm going to explain it in this video. So if you're interested to know that fact, stay tuned and watch the video. Okay, so we are back. We're talking about why we should prepare group A in the CSI net exam. Because first of all, how many marks weightage group A carries? Now many times students ask me a question that, so should we prepare all the 13 units for CSI net exam? My answer is, it's obviously better if you can prepare all the 13 units in a shallow way rather than preparing 5 units in a deep manner and rest of the 8 units not, not a clue. Because in CSI net exam, they will ask question from all the 13 units. It's not likely that you, they will ask question only from a few units and not the other. And the weightage of every single unit on average based on the number distribution is almost very similar, right? So uh, from the unit 1, the number of uh, question asked may vary with unit 2. But the total marks distribution is kind of equivalent to one another. Now the question is, sometimes even if you don't prepare one or two units, now they can ask, let's say you skip unit number 6, unit number 7. Now they will ask a question from unit number 6 and 7, the same number of questions that they used to ask. Now the question they ask in unit number 6 and 7 becomes really easy because that year they ask a very easy question from those units and the unit that you have prepared very well, that is unit 2 and 3, they have asked really, really difficult question. So you will be in trouble because you cannot guarantee no matter how better you prepare a unit, you are going to answer all the questions from that unit. It's kind of not possible always uh, to answer uh, from, from that unit, right? So it's better that you should prepare all the units in a shallow manner. That means, you know, all the 13 units, if you want to prepare, it's better because no matter uh, like you can't tell for sure whether they will ask you a question uh, from one unit better than the other unit, okay? Uh, it's always uh, varying from one another. That's one thing. So it's, it's better that uh, among the 13 units, it's, it's my idea that you should prepare with uh, at least 10 units, 9 to 10 units, it's always a better idea for your preparation. Because you know, uh, it's very difficult to prepare all the 13 units, uh, because all the 13 units means since A to Z, everything regarding the life sciences, it's really, really difficult. Because a person coming from botany, it's really difficult to grasp the idea of uh, human physiology very well and grasp the idea of e evolution, ecology, those parts. So it's better that at least two to three units may be uncommon to you, but you need to prepare few units going beyond your expectations. So at least 10 units is 10 to 11. If you can, it's always a better idea. Now let's come to the group A part. Now what happens in group A, in every single unit, if you, if you assume that the number of questions you get in group C is approximately 5 to 6. Let's assume it's 5. So 5 questions, every question of 4 marks, 20 marks of the question in group C. And the same 4 to 5 questions are asked in group B. So 5 question in group B, 4 to 5, let's say 4 question in group B. So 4 into 2, 8 marks. So 20 in group C, 8 in group B. Together it's 28 marks for every single unit, every single subjective unit that you have. Now, if you consider that, compare it with group A, there are 15 questions you need to answer uh, um, out of 20 and 2 marks for each question. So it will give you 30 marks. So 30 marks in group A, 28 marks in any other units uh, apart from the group A. So 30 is more than 28. 
so group a carries more weightage than any single unit of csr net exam so while you are preparing csr net exam if you are planning to answer all the 13 units if you prepared uh, all the 13 units then it's fine you can leave group a in that aspect but if you fail to answer all the 13 units if you fail to prepare all the 13 units if you prepare only 10 units it's a mandatory that you prepare group a right because you already prepared only 10 units there three units lag so if you prepare group a along with the 10 units it will add equivalent to 11 units preparation for the csr net exam think of that now the second thing that why you should prepare group a is that group a is something different than the subjective knowledge of life sciences so while you're preparing the subject of life sciences it is really really difficult uh, it becomes really monotonous sometimes reading the same topics and concepts again and again and again it becomes really difficult uh, to prepare so while you prepare group a along with uh, the subjects of the life science and topics of life sciences then it becomes a little different because you get something uh, of a mathematical study because you know it, it was found out in the studies that preparing math uh, can influence and also answering those reasoning based questions may influence your idea of judgment and it may also influence and enhance uh, the capability to answer analytical group C question in CSI net exam that's another very important thing that group a can contribute to okay so keeping that in mind group a is beneficial uh, in that sense or sometimes you, during the preparation you can you know uh, you prepare some part of the subjectives uh, let's say you're preparing eight hours straight a single day for the preparation of csi net exam so in these eight hours you first prepare four hours uh, for your subjectives then uh, a two hours break while you're preparing group a will help you uh, in, a, in, a, in a better way to capture all the memory, all the informations in your brain. That's another uh, thing that the group A will help. Now the third thing that I should say is group A, if, if you don't link group A to any part of your uh, study and preparation, but still group A can be divided into two different parts. You know, uh, First part is uh, the arithmetic part, which is solely mathematical involving formulas. Uh, so, utilizing the formula you need to answer questions just like the mathematical problems that we used to solve earlier. Example of this type is you know height and distance problem, train uh, speed problem, time and work problems and also uh, there is calendar problems and there will be like uh, percentage problems, probability problems. So, these problems uh, these are hardcore mathematical problems where you need to know some formula, you need to apply the formula to get the answer. But the second part of uh, the group A is reasoning and the reasoning which is verbal as well as non-verbal reasoning along with data interpretation. This is something uh, which you can prepare uh, kind of utilizing your own IQ because you know there will be number series questions or alphabet series questions which you can answer with uh, your IQ or information that you have in your brain. It's kind of a logic or implementation of some logic to get an answer of, of a question. Okay. So, while uh, you are getting the answer of with the, with the logical study that may not require always to remember formula because most of the students fear group A thinking of it is a mathematics and we are life science students we do not know about mathematics very well we go away from mathematics all our whole life. So, why would you study mathematics again but no actually the arithmetic part is the 50 percent part but the rest of the 50 percent is reasoning and which is not the hardcore math you know it is just like a puzzle it is like some logical interpretation data interpretation things like that and that might help you uh, to prepare that might help you to, to answer you know uh, sometimes you can answer among the 20 questions in group A you may be able to answer 4 to 5 questions without even prior knowledge to the arithmetic field only with the help of the logical and data interpretation or reasoning based questions. So, in my opinion I can always go with group A because for those 4 to 5 questions we are able to answer if you devote only 10 to uh, 15 minutes for the group A and answering 4 to 5 question it will contribute to almost 8 to 10 marks of the answer and that will be an added advantage believe me because very few people will actually attend group A for their 
CSI net exam. So if you attain group A and score 8 to 10 marks, that will be an added advantage, that will be a bonus for your score. Another important advantage taking up uh, group A and preparing group A in the exam, answering group A questions in the exam is that group A questions, uh, there is no ambiguous feature in the group A because if you answer group A, you know what is the correct answer. You know whether it's correct, whether it's wrong, you know uh, what is there, right? There is no differences. So in group A, uh, if the answer is correct, the option will show that. There is no something else just like the other question. There is no doubt about it. So either you know or don't know. All or none event while you are preparing for group A. So that's why preparing group A is uh, very, very well uh, advisable. But if you prepare all the 13 units in a better way of preparation, then you can escape group A. But other than that, if you prepare less than uh, 10 units, then group A should be prepared because it will be an added advantage in your preparation. On the other hand, while you are preparing and answering group A questions in the net exam hall, you should not devote more than 20 to 25 minutes. Remember that because sometimes group A questions are concentration bait questions which will uh, attract you and ultimately you will fail to answer the question and it will be a loss of time. So don't do that, don't allow the question to do that to you. So you will always think of group A, you know, if you answer the question, if you know it correctly, then only answer, otherwise leave it. So do not devote more than 15 to 20 minutes while you are preparing for group A for only 5 to 6 questions. But if you prepare group A very well and you think group A is one of your bait, then you go for group A for 30 minutes of uh, CSI net exam time. Okay, so that's uh, all about whether you should prepare group A for CSI net exam or not and I hope it helps you. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and definitely share this video with your friends because they need to know the truth too and also subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like that. Thank you.